Hey guys, Adrian here on the behalf of the Windows 8 tip series. Today's tip number 16, we're going to look at disabling the lock screen within Windows 8. So let's say you don't want the lock screen to be there. Maybe you have a desktop computer like myself, you don't want the lock screen to show up when you log in to Windows 8. Or maybe you're on a laptop when you close the lid, you don't want it to lock the computer. So here's a way to disable it completely, or bypass, I should say, the Windows 8 lock screen. First off, you're going to need to open up a run command. In this case, I have Windows key R is a quick way to open up run. You're going to want to then type in this gpedit.msc. You're going to hit OK. This is going to open a local policy, a local group policy editor. Now from here, you're going to go ahead and I'm going to expand the window just so it's a little bit easier to see here. You're going to want to expand administrative templates under computer configuration. You're then going to want to expand the control panel. Lastly, click on personalization, and you will see on the right here you have a couple options. Mainly the one that we're worried about is that it says do not display uh, lock screen. And I can double click this here, and this is the one I want to change. So you can see here I can open this, and I can set this to it's not configured currently. I can enable this or disable it. Again, if I want to change the policy, I can enable it so it doesn't display the lock screen if I don't want it to. So I can hit OK, and I can apply it and hit OK and I'll be good to go. So if you want to completely disable your lock screen, this is just a quick tip on how to do that really easy. Again, to recap, Windows key R, you're going to want to type in gpedit.msc, go into administrative templates, control panel, click on the personalization folder, and go ahead and change the policy setting for do not display the lock screen. You'll also notice you have some other options in here for the lock screen if you want to change that as well, uh, and other stuff relating to the start menu background, so on and so forth. This is one of the many tips for that of the Windows 8 tip series. Don't forget to check out the rest. Thanks for watching.